Hey guys, welcome to the shop. We're continuing to work on this student instrument that appears to be fairly old that I've affectionately called the California junk pile. That The reason for that will become more apparent as we go along, but we're getting to the point right now where we're going to have to talk about the knack. Now, I've told you a ton of times in a bunch of episodes, including one called Buyer's Guide to Cheap Arch Tops. You really want to see that one. Um, I've got a whole playlist about license plate guitars, coffee can guitars, cigar box guitars, but if you're going to be into these arch tops, you really want to see Buyer's Guide to Cheap Junk Arch Tops, and there's a link to it right up there that I pops up. You're going to want to see that one at some point in your career of this. Now, you put a lot of time and effort into one of these. We're going to put pickup on it. We're going to change out the tailpiece. You can see that we've done some stuff to the headstock uh, and the fretboard, fingerboard. So about the time you get this done, it's going to be uh, some dive bar trash blues machine. And it's not going to be treated well. And sooner or later, what's going to happen every time is the neck is going to start cutting loose. When the neck starts cutting loose, it pivots forward. I don't know how many times I have to tell you. It pivots up, your action comes up, and then all anybody wants to do is play a slide. And then that kind of makes your instrument really, really questionable when it comes to playing. It'll end up on the wall. Everybody thinks it's cool, but we don't build these to build wall hangers. <laughs> At least I don't. So, um, after you put all the money into this and the neck cuts loose, that's a real loser. It's a real loser, especially if you're living in Winter, South Dakota, my favorite town. So back to this. We are at a juncture right now where we're going to decide we're just going to make this neck solid regardless of what you do with it. It'll get to the point where this will be strong enough where the only thing left will be the area between here and here. And it will still be together, I guarantee it. Now, if you're some purist and you're freaking out and you know, you're playing your instrument, instruments with um, cotton swabs or something like that, this is not for you. Uh, we're going to destroy this instrument like I haven't done that already, but we're going to bolt this up. I'm going to show you how to bolt it and not screw it. I don't like screws. They work loose after a while. I'm going to show you a way to do this. Um, we're going to use some technology you haven't seen before, at least in guitars. You might have seen it in the doctor's office. And we don't need, don't please don't share those experiences down below in the comment section when you're giving me a like and a thumbs up, right, and a subscription. Anyway. We're going to go to the bench, and I'm going to show you how to bolt this neck on here where it will not come loose. I guarantee you. So let's go. We're going to talk about this part right here. And um, I told you in a an episode about Beginner's Guide to Buying Junk Arch Tops. I'm going to give you a link to that right up there right about now. We talked a lot about this area right here, breaking loose. When this breaks loose from here and moves this way, the neck pivots this way and the action gets higher. And, and watch that episode. So, this is not cut loose yet. Yet is the key word here. But it, considering what I'm going to do with this, considering who it's probably going to go to and the way they're going to beat on this thing, it won't be too long. This will cut loose. So, am I going to do a neck reset? I'm going to do all that. No. Am I going to do a hippie neck reset where I cut this halfway off and then put a screw in here? No, I'm not going to do that. But I am going to bolt this to here. I'm going to do it in such a way that I don't have to worry about it anymore. So, how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to use a drill bit. We're going to use a plug cutter. Let me get this up here where I got a table to put this stuff on, where you can see it. We're going to use a bolt. We're going to use a piece of wood. Since this is a California junk pile, we're going to use a piece of wood to come out of a significant place. 
uh, in California, like maybe something to do with Alan Wilson, who taught Sun House how to play his own songs in 1964 when he was uh, discovered, and Reuben Lacey uh, had Alan Wilson as a visitor at his church in um, Ridgecrest, which we might have a look at an episode right up there to catch that exciting background. But anyway, so what we are going to do here is we are going to drill a hole through. Oh, you keep seeing me grab the Chick Flick Teal Pointer right here and bolt this on in a way where we don't have to use a screw and we are going to I think the most important tool here is a hanger I would love to use this chick flick teal hanger but we're not we're going to use this cheap metal hanger okay we're going to need a bolt we're going to need a couple of washers and um, I call these aviation nuts they got that little nylon insert there they call them stop nuts and once you tighten them up um, they're not going to work loose so we're going to put this through here through the block in the top of the guitar right here and then the trickiest part is we are going to put the stop nut on the inside block but there's only the f holes to work with so we're going to use a couple of these have you ever seen these do not covet these yeah these bendy ratchet extensions so let's get to work on how we're going to do this and we're going to start with this file i'm not going to play around i'm going to use this file right here because something i want to show you while we're here this grab my pointer you see this shape right here it is curved it is thinner down here and it is thicker as we go up here so it curves around and curves this way. If I take a drill to this and start playing around with this right now, what's going to happen is the bit's going to walk. I'm going to be scratched up and have a mess going on here. So you really want to be able to put your hole right in the middle where you want it and not having it walk all over the place. And that involves we're going to flatten this out and it's going to be have to be flattened out big enough to drill through use the plug cutter to hide the knot and then to accept a piece of this that we'll use with the plug cutter yeah so there's a couple different plug cutters we're going to use here one of them to drill the hole uh, that's small enough in the next one uh, to cut a piece of this anyway let's just get to work and I'll show you how okay so we're going to put some tape right here and over here and we're going to protect the part of the heel of the neck here that we don't want to drill into we certainly want don't want to be doing this right down here because it's narrow and and uh, we want to have a little bit of this lip here left to help us hide the hole we're going to put in of course everybody's going to know it's there because i'm going to announce what it is but I think about right there is a good spot. It gives us enough meat on the neck. And when I take this big huge file here and go like this, I got so much junk going on in the background, you can't even believe it. My, my pointer's becoming unruly. But anyway, I'm going to take this and just make sure that I start in like so make sure that I got that like that so I'm gonna use that mark right there and I'm gonna file this down flat now I could be using a mini belt sander I could be using a number of things oh and I want to tell you if you take a flat piece of wood like this and put this and take it to your belt sander you can make sure that your file edge stays nice and square and you'll find that really important if you're doing binding but it's good to keep your files square so i'm going to do this like this and get us a flat spot here and you go do something productive while i'm doing this okay 
Okay guys, we've got a nice flat spot developing here. Now, notice that I'm this curves out, so if I keep this straight, I won't be hitting this part up here. I really don't want to hit that. But once I get to the point where the side of this file held up straight like this is hitting this, then I'll know that I have a nice little pocket there, see? So I'm just going to keep working this gradually and carefully until I get a nice spot like that. Now, I can take smaller files if I need to, like so. Again, keep the edge of your file sharp by laying this like here on a belt sander. You're going to find that this is really good, like I said, for doing um, the binding channel on a guitar. Because if the binding channel, say down here, isn't right, then it'll keep trying to pop out. Anyway, we're getting way off out in the weeds. And then finally, you can take a piece of fingerboard cut off or yard sale wood and just put some 400 or 600 on there and go back like this. Work this out. This comes in really handy for going along, um, cleaning up for binding, fixing cracks. Those with a mask off. But anyway, that's what we're going to do there. Now, we know where the center of it is. And we're going to take an awl like this and find that spot where we got to figure out is there enough room between here and the hole for our piece of relic wood that we're going to put in there. And we're going to just take the awl and tap us a little hole there and make sure it's in the middle. Okay, now we're going to take uh, a series of increasingly larger drill bits. First we're going to do a pilot hole and then get bigger and bigger until um, we get the size we need for our bolt. But we're going to drill through here very carefully all the way through the neck block which is back into here. And then we want to make sure that we keep this bit uh, or this drill perfectly flat as we go in and we don't want all kinds of wobble. You see that this bit is bent a little bit? We don't want that. Um, and we also want to make sure that we don't go through and blow out the back end because if we're going to bolt something here and put one of those nuts on, we want that to sit flat in there so we don't want something blown out. You want to remember that it's very difficult to get inside of here. And we're going to put a camera in here when it comes time to hook everything up and show you what it looks like. Okay, we're getting close now. The bit is getting increasingly bigger. And you'll be able to see, I'm going to turn the sound off, that we're going all the way through now. And it's about this far. And we need to know what that measurement is, by the way. Okay, the last bit I'm going to use is pretty big. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a pocket that the bolt will be able to seat down into with a washer. Um, and then I can take uh, this and make that little pocket. So that little pocket is going to be about that big. And then that will give us the area to put our relic plug into, like so. All right, now I'm going to need to figure out how long this bolt needs to be. And um, there's an easy way to do this. We're just going to take this piece of coat hanger where it's nice and straight. We're going to clip it there. We're going to clip it about here. I'm going to show you another little trick with a coat hanger and a, uh, a uh, guitar cable that we can use um, to fish in. Um, jacks that have fallen off inside the guitar. But anyway, I can put this in here. I just need to know how long this is. So it fits in there. Now I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cable or my wire here and I'm going to bend the end of it over at a 90 just like this. Okay. I'm going to put this in here and then once I get to the end I can hook that like so and then I can take a marker or pencil. Let's do a piece of tape. I could have been prepared a little bit better. Like so. 
see again you can move this around put this in hook the side of the hole and know right there that our bolt needs to be that long out to here and since it's, since it's going to sit down in this pocket a tad we know that it, if it sits in that pocket that far that it'll stick out that far and we can put our aviation lock nut on the setup and tighten this down but that's a handy little trick so now I know that I would prefer a, a bolt that has a flat spot right here not to be curved or tapered so it will sit flat I know I want a washer like this and because there's a pocket that I've cut in that's just big enough to accept this when this slides in here I will be able to push this through and then on the other side stick a nylon insert not on the end of it and tighten it all up it gets a little tricky now but let's keep banging away here I like that regular all right guys so I've got the right size bolt I know it's long enough from using my little piece of wire thing that I made um, I got the right size washer on there and I know that because I've drilled a hole here let me see if I can put this up to the camera where you can see it there's a pocket there and it's got a lip on it that will seat this washer and this bolt now let's say I'm gonna put this in here like so and test it so it'll pop right in there look at that well what if something happened where I need to take that back out so I'm gonna flip the guitar up and down and play shake and bake and twist and shout no always have a magnet around so you can just boom you see that and push that in there with my love pencil and there it sits fine and I can just take it out always have a magnet around you at all times and if uh, Mr. Bacon flavored toothpick is getting a little conscious about his weight. You can just kind of put it right there and help him out. Okay, so now mysteriously, this plug cutter, the edges of it fit right up against that hole. So if I take this plug cutter and go to work on this A.W. Allen Wilson and cut me a plug out of here, it will fit right down in there and I can hide this hole and everybody say well what's in there well it's a piece of wood from the canned heat house in Topanga Canyon so it's really cool but also functional we'll hide that and this will seat everything and no one will ever know except everybody okay guys a little trick when you're cutting these plugs if you just put this on here and go forward a lefty loosey righty tighty drilling is to the right You'll notice that this spins backwards because if I give it a few turns backwards it starts the plug cutter without it walking all over the place. See if I go over here and put it the other way, see I'm doing this. This way I just get here, push down, flip it running backwards and push down I get the plug started. There we go. Oh, word to the wise, you want to make sure that when you pull this out of here, it is very hot. So give it a little time to cool off or use another tool. But um, yeah, this is very hot right now. Don't burn yourself. Okay, I've let this cool off. I'm pull that out of there like so. Okay, and then I can sit this down in here. And it goes in and I can mark off and cut off. Uh, where that needs to go and then I can file this down and smooth this out and everything will look good but I got a piece of relic wood in here and it's going to hide this now the tricky part we're going to get inside the guitar and put our aviation or nylon insert or stop nut on the inside against the block with a washer and tighten this down before we do that, when it comes time to finally tighten this down, we're going to take a little bit of our hide glue and put it in there and make sure that this thing stays in place forever. And then I could take it and Bob Log can beat 
it to death and this neck will never cut loose. Okay guys, we got this end of the bolt done. Now it's time to be fishing around down in here. And this is nothing left to amateurs. This is gonna turn real scientific now, starting with this rag here, this fancy rag, which turns this into a table. Mystery of the universe there, did you catch that? We're gonna need some paste wax. Why? Well, just listen and you'll find out. We're going to need a magnet. We're going to need this scrap apparatus that you know what it is because you watched me make it. We're going to need this aviation nylon insert stop nut. Check. And you're going to need some Jesus when you die. <laughs> We are going to need this fancy gadget. Ooh, look at this. Let's do a flyby. I hate flybys, but it's got this thing, and you squeeze it, and then you can put that on there to hold whatever you want. For a second, before you drop it, cut. Okay, action. I mean, action. Take two. Yeah, this thing right here that lets you grab onto that washer we're gonna need that we're gonna need this fancy light you've seen this before do not covet this light it extends it goes down in here it turns it spins it's Ron Popeil probably invented that it's so cool we are going to need this kind of scrap apparatus here it's flexi and we will need to get the nut in there not from right there and then we will be able to work this from the outside but how are we going to do this without struggling well we're going to use this thing we're going to use the look in the fo camera thingy you know what you're probably saying oh that's an endoscope no it's not an endoscope if it was an endoscope if it were an endoscope excuse me you would have it clearly labeled with something that said ND, like endoscope, right? Come on, use your head. But it didn't have one of those. Now, to be sure, you want to be sure. What is the difference? How can you tell the difference between this F-hole look inside the F-hole camera thingy and an endoscope? What is the difference? It's really easy. The taste. The taste. So let's talk about a couple of these things. This washer, even though I have it in here, when I let it go, it's going to want to fall off. So if I put some of this paste wax on the washer, then put it in, when I release this scrap apparatus, the washer is going to stick to the guitar. So why paste? Well, I use this paste to shine up the tops of guitars and protect them. So if I don't want any rust or anything in here, when they look at this thing on Antiques Roadshow 350 years from now, at that point, it will be worth probably $107. That paste wax, excuse me, rendered lips, on both the washer and the nut will stop it from corroding in there. Yes, brilliant. A brilliant shine a long-lasting brilliant shine so the first thing I'm gonna do is take our plug and put it in that hole right down here and that will keep the bolt in place and then we're gonna hook up our F hole look down the F hole camera thingy we're gonna hook that up to a computer because we'll actually be able to see what's going on here in the computer so let me get this uh, hooked up and see what's in there. Is it Al Capone's safe? Is it the Pharaoh's tomb? Um, what's in there? You're gonna look and learn with me as we go into uncharted territory. All right. Speaking of uncharted territories, I never could master this Velcro Velcro stuff. Here we go. So we're gonna set that up and pull this off and hook it up to our computer. There we go. All right, we're going in. Ooh, creepy. 70 years, 80 years of what? 
get this spun around here. What do we got? Oh, it is a hairball from the Pharaoh's cat. I knew it. What's this? What do we got here? Oh, wow. It is the matchbook of the episode, the spot liquor. And uh, over there, there it is, there it is. There it is, the object of our affection, the bolt coming through the neck. That's what we want right there. All right, come on, come on. Up, oh, up, oh, there it is. Up, oh, there, come on, come on, come on. There it is, bingo, touchdown, Green Bay. All right, all right, all right, steady, steady. There it is right there. I could be an endoscopic surgeon, brother. Last turn. There we go. Easy money. All right, guys. We have the uh, bolt in, the nut on. I've still got the ratchet on hooked up inside. And now I've taped all this off. And we're going to take some hide glue that I've warmed up. Of course, the guitar is at room temperature. And I put it in the glue bot. I've masked all this off. And before we do our final tightening, we're going to squeeze that down in this crack. And then we're going to go ahead and push it in with the suction cup. And that will be the end of this. I just push that in there and then tighten it up. The neck isn't broke loose, so we're not trying to pull it in and and make it any worse we're just well we're just stopping it from getting any worse is what we're doing that's the point there and then of course we will put in our uh, relic wood plug and then we'll touch this up with a little bit of chick flick teal so everybody can know that it was me that messed this up for the final time all right there we go it is done i can reap on this thing all day long and it's not going anywhere um, I don't try to hide these repairs and like, oh, put a little fingernail polish over something like that. No, it's very clear what we did to it. You see that there? That's really clear. There's a piece of relic wood. It's got chick flick teal on it. If I touched it, it's got chick flick teal on it. If I touched you, you'd have chick flick teal on you. That didn't sound very good. Anyway. There it is. We're going to do some other stuff to this guitar like this. Oh, you didn't see that. That's in another episode that I haven't done already. Well, if I haven't done it already, why does it look like this? Anyway, the California Junk Pile, I guarantee you're going to covet this one. I appreciate you watching me. Give me your comments below. Don't forget to give me a like. And I will see you next time when we do something else fabulous to this thing. See you later.